Hey everybody, Sharon here from GameMeAct.com. Here we are today back in the Demise of the Faithful update to Dead by Daylight, grabbing the Adept Plague achievement. This is to get a Merciless Killer rating as the Plague, only using her three unique perks. This one is going to be done from the Killer side. You're going to have to play as the Plague for this, so make sure you grab her from the DLC pack or the in-game store. You are also going to need to get her to a minimum of level 10 to unlock the three perk slots you need. The perks you want to make sure you equip are going to be Corrupt Intervention, then you're going to want to have Infectious Fright. And then the third and final perk you want to make sure you equip is going to be Dark Devotion. You can do whatever you want for add-ons and offerings. Make sure you leave the fourth perk slot empty if you have it available to you. So moving on to strategy to get the Merciless Killer rating. So the main name of the game when using the plague is to try to keep all of the survivors as infected as possible. So on your way to trying to find the first survivor, make sure you use your left trigger special ability on any interactable objects along the way, notably generators. Any survivors who are going to touch them are going to get sick. Once you spot your first survivor, make sure you start spraying them down as well, and then you want to try to keep them infected. For the early game, it's okay to just keep them at the first stage of infection. The reason for that is you don't want to use the vomit to damage the survivors right away because you are going to need regular hits to build up your chaser category. So during the early game, the way your engagements are going to work is you're going to find the survivor, make sure you spray them once to get them infected. Having a survivor infected is going to be super useful because they should cough a bunch, allowing you to find them super easily. Make sure you land your two hits in like normal and then bring them to a hook right away. Make sure you do not camp because you are going to get the camp penalty, which is going to affect your merciless killer rating. Instead, what you want to do is you want to start looking for the next survivor, and along the way, make sure you are spraying down any interactable objects you see, namely generators. The reason for that is your goal for the early game is to try to get as many people as sick as possible. So make sure you just spread that around. This should also help you avoid the camp penalty, and then you want to keep that in mind during your early pursuits. Spreading the infection around to all four survivors is also a great way of keeping them off of the generators because they're going to be focused on trying to find fountains in order to heal themselves. As for using the Vomit as an offensive tool, it's going to be super useful if you ever find yourself in a loop situation. The reason for that is it's going to be a pretty good ranged attack that can spray over the obstacle that you are being looped around. Remember, you can use the Vomit Spray to damage the survivor on their first health state. If you keep infecting them, once they get into the red state of the infection, they are going to be damaged. So make sure you keep that in mind. You can use the Vomit to start pressuring them in these situations. You can also spray the Pallet if there is a Pallet in the loop, and that should infect the survivor further if they do drop the Pallet. So if you are stuck in a really bad loop, just keep using the Vomit to pressure, and then once they get that full sickness on them, make sure you try to bait them into a basic attack, give them a good swing, and that should down them, allowing you to grab them and then pop them on a hook. Keep in mind, if you were pretty consistent on your controlling the background game, you shouldn't be worried too much about being stuck in a pretty bad loop. The reason for that is, as the survivors are going to start becoming infected in the background, they are either going to worsen their infection, which should hurt them, or they're going to move away from generators to look for fountains in order to pick themselves back up. Remember, the Plague's effectiveness is going to mostly happen in the background, so as long as you are consistent with your micromanaging between your pursuits of survivors, the more effective you can play as her. So as the game further progresses and more survivors heal themselves at the various fountains in order to get rid of their infections, you are going to notice that your green vomit, which is going to be the vile purge, is going to turn into the red vomit, which is going to be the corrupt purge. The Corrupt Purge is going to be a timed power-up to the Vile Purge. Basically, the way it works is instead of infecting the survivors, this will always deal damage to them. So make sure you take advantage of this new ranged attack. It will always damage one health state, and you are able to down survivors using it. So make sure you take advantage of it on any spots where you can land an easy hit, notably over any vaulting spots, and then you should be able to deal quite a bit of damage with this. Also, keep in mind, whenever you have the Corrupt Purge, you want to make sure you stop spraying down any interactable objects objects since it won't do anything to them. It's only a damage dealing move. So during the window where you have the Corrupt Purge available to you, you want to make sure you switch up your gameplay from a more strategic type to a more aggressive type, and then make sure you stay active on your pursuits and hooks. 
Nonetheless, that's going to be the major rundown of the basic plague strategy. Keep these in mind, and hopefully you should be able to flesh out all four categories you need for the Merciless Killer rating. Remember to stay persistent on your chases. Try to do this in a timely manner where you beat the survivors before they fix the generators. Make sure you get enough attacks in to fill out the chaser category. Make sure you fill out the devout category with enough hooks. Hopefully you are able to sacrifice all four survivors pretty well. And then if you happen to do well enough, you should be good for the Merciless Killer rating. Of course, you can hit right bumper on the results screen to check what you need to improve on and then once you manage to get that plus two you should get the merciless killer and the achievement there it is this one's going to be for 20 gamer score and that's all there is to it